Hey my loves, this is Raven from Raven's Reviews and welcome back to the channel. So today we have day seven of Madame Glam's advent calendar. Now as you all know, I've been playing detective, trying to figure out what was in each bottle and yesterday's threw me for a loop. I was not expecting the silver flakes that came out. I am absolutely in love with that topper. I cannot wait. Like, as I said uh, in the earlier video, as soon as I have unboxed more Madame Glam mini bottles, that's when I'm gonna start doing art at the end of each video. So at the end of the swatching for this one, I do show you guys how to ombre with the ombre brush. So if you're interested in that after the swatching, please stay tuned. So. Without further ado, day seven's gift is Drummer Boy, which is a gorgeous olive color. Now I'm just gonna quickly show you what she looks like uncured, and then we're gonna get into the swatching. Swatching Drummer Boy on the gorgeous Veronica. Oh my goodness, I do not have I don't think I have an olive color. So this, as soon as I saw her, I gasped. I think she would be perfect for a sweater set. What do you guys think? Both Elf on the Shelf and this color are so stunning. They might be a little bit muted, but I think they're perfect for sweater nails. They're very festive. It's making me feel like I just wanna curl up with a hot cup of cocoa. <laughs> and I am in love. Madame Glam's formula is so dreamy. Dolls, this is after one coat. Do you see this coverage? Jeez. Oh, Drama boy come through. Woo! Um Jolie and Veronica. I cannot get over how stunning every single one of the colors that I have unboxed, these mini creams. They have been the most gorgeous, luscious polishes. I I just can't wait to see all of the, I think it's 14, all 14 or 13 mini bottles. I can't wait to see all the rest of the colors. I'm like, ah, it's so hard to wait, but I have really been enjoying this project of unboxing every day. It makes each day so exciting. So as I promised, I'm gonna show you how this ombre brush works. I absolutely love ombre brushes and throughout this series actually I'm going to show you a few different ways to use her that's not just for ombre -ing. You can do some really cool designs with this ombre brush. But for this one I'm going to be taking Noelle and Elf on the Shelf, uh, swatching on Josephine. I'm going to be taking those and I am going to show you how I use this ombre brush. As you can see, I've taken Noelle and I've started the base color. Now, I gently merge these colors and I show you when I'm finished that I do not contaminate the brush. So I kind of push like the th more thick side of the polish gently towards the other color so they merge without contamination. So once I finish that, I am gonna gently, um, from going from side to side motions, um, bring the ombre brush from the free edge all the way to the cuticle. Now, this looks like I'm applying a lot of pressure, but this video has been sped up. So I'm actually applying the most gentle, gentle touch. You have to be very light with this ombre brush. But as you bring it down, I'm also off camera cleaning uh, my ombre brush on a paper towel. So make sure you have brush, brush cleaner and your paper towel handy because you want to make sure every time you dip back into your nail that you're going in with a clean brush. That is key. And then I just continue this process. I cure and then I do step one over again until I've blended to perfection.
So I know the ombre brush can seem a little intimidating, but as you saw here, with the most gentle touch, you can merge those colors to perfection. So we have Noelle, an elf on the shelf, and it seems like we've made a marriage match made in heaven. <laughs> and if you don't like the glossy, you can also take your matte and you can matte that ombre. So for day seven, we got this gorgeous olive drummer boy and I also ombre Noelle, an elf on the shelf. I just wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in every day of Advent, leaving amazing comments, sharing this video. Like you guys are so amazing. And I just, uh, if, if I could jump through the screen and hug you, I would. I hope your holiday season has been going so amazing. And as I, I say often, please make sure you're checking in on your loved ones and you're making sure they're okay this holiday season. Uh, I just, I love you guys so much. Mwah! I can't wait to see you in tomorrow's video.